With 50,000 volunteers, our National Trust, the biggest conservation charity in Europe, gives a kind and dedicated service to the nation, its nature and wildlife, its heritage and its people. It has five million members. I'm one of them. Restore Trust has been attempting to politicise the National Trust and drag it into right-wing culture wars. Unfortunately, this is very bad history. They're not using historians. Our institutions appear to have been taken over by a woke ideology. One of the most prominent has been the National Trust. The dumbing down or wokeification of the National Trust. But that's not what we go to see stately homes or resplendent gardens for. However, in spite of Restore Trust's rantings, it has failed to secure a single council seat for any of its candidates for the National Trust Board in 2021, 2022, and most recently in November 2023. Restore Trust is a campaigning business with links to the opaquely funded Tufton Street think tank set. The group indicates financial gains over the past year, with assets rising from around 76,000 in 2022 to 142,000 in 2023. So where has the money come from? Hmm. Accounts for the controlling entity don't reveal sources of its income. Restore Trust operates as a right-wing insurgent pressure group, aiming to oppose what it describes as a woke agenda in the National Trust. In 2022, it emerged that the group had ties to the collective of right-wing, pro-Brexit, free market and culture-warring think tanks operating out of Tufton Street, claims which it had originally denied, obviously. It's been challenged on multiple occasions for presenting inaccurate information to the public. Organic support for the group, let's say, remains on the fringes. Meanwhile, the Restore Trust itself continues to push messages deemed misleading on social media using the National Trust's name. In a post from January the 18th, Restore Trust tweeted out, If you love unspoiled historic houses, gardens and countryside, you should be a member of the National Trust and use your vote to keep it unspoiled. With a link not to the National Trust page, but to its own membership sign-up. The move was sharply criticised by National Trust Director of Comms, Celia Richardson, who was quick to point out that this was not official National Trust messaging. A community note attached to the Restore Trust tweet currently reads, Restore Trust is a private company which is backed by a number of activists with links to right-wing organisations. Its funding is opaque and has been widely accused of astroturfing. In other words, giving the illusion of being a grassroots organisation, but not being one in reality. Restore Trust did not respond to a request for comment about this video. I recommend that you read their output, if you can be bothered to read their output, with extreme caution.